Two rollover accidents in the same day on one of Cleveland's oldest and most iconic bridges. But scenes like this, not unusual on the Center Street Swing Bridge. In fact, the News Channel 5 investigation shows just how common this has become. Yeah, so we wanted to know what's causing the cars to flip. Megan Hickey dug through years of police reports, joins us live near the bridge. So, Megan, what did you find? Well, the rollovers are definitely not the first. Nine accidents in three years show some troubles on the bridge. We see people speeding through all the time. More than a century worth of travelers have crossed the Center Street Swing Bridge, but some cars stop short. Just yesterday, two vehicles rolled on the iconic bridge in separate accidents on the same day. It must be reckless to, to screw up like that. And we uncovered police reports that show at least seven other accidents on the bridge since 2013, many with similar stories. Police say alcohol was a factor in at least one crash. We've got a lot of tight, sharp turns. Narrow streets. But Cleveland State University civil engineer Norbert DeLott told me speed is likely the biggest culprit. You're dealing with the routes that were fixed for smaller trucks, smaller cars, uh, and, and, and you know, you have to live with those geometrics. And the way that's controlled is with your, your warnings and your speed limits. There's no speed limit sign leading up to the bridge on the east side. The next sign doesn't appear until drivers have already exited. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Jacqueline Fulkerson, who works across the street, told me speeding is a problem and cars fly by when they think no one's watching. People blow the stop sign, they go flying over the bridge. Now that bridge dates back to 1901 when DeLatte says the width standards were much smaller, but he says that shouldn't be a problem at 25 miles per hour. Live in Cleveland, Megan Hickey, News Channel 5. And right now,